Hi, welcome to Problem Solver 40, using logical reasoning. Hopefully you've taken the opportunity to read the question to yourself. I will read it for you as well. Patty and six other members of the school orchestra have been selected to participate in the All City School Orchestra. Three of them are 13 years old and four of them are 12 years old. Three play the trumpet and four play the violin. Tomasi, Paul, and Ricky play the same instrument. Jesse and Miranda, though, play different instruments. Jesse, Miranda, and Anne are the same age. Tomasi and Paul are not the same age. What is the name of the 13-year-old trumpeter who has been chosen to play first chair? The question I'm going to underline, what is the name of the 13-year-old trumpeter? So in red, at the bottom, you can see I've already done a blank line. For blank is the 13-year-old trumpeter who has been chosen to play first chair. There is my complete sentence for the end. I've already taken the opportunity to recognize the fact that I know that I have two different age groups I need to look at. The 13-year-old age group has three total people. The 12-year-old age group has four. I also have trumpets and violins. The trumpets have three participants, while the violins have four participants. The problem also told me that Paul and Tomasi are different ages. So you can see here that we wrote Paul or Tomasi for those ages. Maybe the clues will give us some information about that later. I'm going to go ahead to this line here and put a little check mark that Tomasi and Paul are not the same age because I've already used that information. I know that Tomasi, Paul, and Ricky play the same instrument. I'm going to put a check mark because that's the one I'm looking at I'm going to work with. So I know that Tomasi, Paul, and Ricky all play the same instrument. I'm going to group mine together so that I know when I move one of them, I have to move all of them. You may choose to have little slips of paper to move around during this activity or this type of problem solver, and you could tape them together to know that they're going to go together. Next, I find out that Jesse and Miranda play different instruments right here. So I'm going to take Jesse and Miranda. I'm going to kind of scatter them like this up by the number one to show that they play different instruments because I'm not quite sure which one is which. However, knowing that one of them has to play the trumpet, I know that these three gentlemen cannot become trumpeters because either Jesse or Miranda is also a trumpeter. Therefore, they must play the violin. I'll move them over there, and my violin is complete with the exception of knowing what, if it's Miranda or Jesse. Moving on, Jesse, Miranda, and Anne are all the same age. Well, I have the same situation with Jesse, Miranda, and Anne, is that if I put them in the 13-year-old category, there's not enough room for them. So that must mean that Jesse, Miranda, and Anne are 12, which only leaves Ricky and Patty to be 13-year-olds. Back over here for the instruments, Anne and Patty are left to be trumpeters. I've now covered all of my information. I don't really know where Paul and Tomasi, how old they are, or if Miranda or Jesse play the trumpet or violin, so I'm going to work with what I need to find out to see if that makes a difference. Again, I'm trying to find out the 13-year-old trumpeter who has been chosen to play first chair. So, I'm going to look at Paul. He's thir he could be 13. Does he play the trumpet? No. Tomasi could be 13. Does he play the trumpet? No. Only Patty, Anne, and either Jesse or Miranda. I'm now going to look for Ricky. Does Ricky play the trumpet? No, he plays the violin. So that leaves me with Patty. Patty is a trumpeter and she's 13 years old. That must mean that Patty is the 13 year old trumpeter who has been chosen to play the first chair. I would of course go back and check my work and check my clues to make sure everything's been positioned correctly. This has been the logical reasoning problem. Again, like I suggested before, perhaps you want to, as you're solving these, make little pieces of paper with all the information that you're going to need so that you can easily move them around. If you noticed on my slide, I had two sets of names because I knew I was going to have to put everybody in two different categories, ages and instruments. Please be thinking about that as you do your problems. I think it's a very helpful strategy. And thank you for joining me for Problem Solver 40.